Obama humiliated in front of the world as Jeff Foxworthy calls him out. Internet goes wild. Jeff Foxworthy is a well-known comedian loved by millions. His first two comedy albums went platinum three times over and his comedy books are bestsellers. But Jeff Foxworthy is also a conservative patriot. He supports all that is great with America and is tired of how liberals are ripping America apart. President Barack Obama has changed America into an entitlement society where people don't want to work hard. That's why Jeff Foxworthy used Facebook to explain exactly what he thinks about President Barack Obama and the state our country is in. If you can get arrested for hunting or fishing without a license, but not for entering and remaining in the country illegally, you might live in a nation that was founded by geniuses, but it is run by idiots. If you have to get your parents' permission to go on a field trip or take an aspirin in school, but not to get an abortion, you might live in a nation that was founded by geniuses, but is run by idiots. If you must show your identification to board an airplane, cash a check, buy liquor, or check out a library book and rent a video, but not to vote for who runs the government, you might live in a nation that was founded by geniuses, but is run by idiots. If the government wants to pre prevent stable, law-abiding citizens from owning gun magazines that hold more than 10 rounds, but gives 20 F-16 fighter jets to crazy new leaders in Egypt, you might live in a nation that was founded by geniuses, but is run by idiots. If the nation's largest city, you can buy two 16-ounce soda cans, but not one 24-ounce soda, because 24 ounces of a sugary drink might make you fat, you might live in a nation that was founded by geniuses, but is run by idiots. If an 80-year-old woman who is confined to a wheelchair or a three-year-old girl can be strip-searched by the TSA at the airport, but a woman in a burqa or a hijab is only subject to having her neck and head searched, you might live in a nation that was founded by geniuses but is run by idiots. If your government believes that the best way to eradicate trillions of dollars of debt is to spend trillions more, you might live in a nation that was founded by geniuses, but is run by idiots. These comments make us laugh, but it's also a sad statement of just how far America has fallen. This is an important reminder of just how important the 2016 presidential election was finally what we have a real leader in the white house again no i reread that the uh, 2016 presidential election was that's true finally we have a real leader in the white house again thank the lord let us know what you think in the comments below but this makes perfect sense perfect sense Thank you for watching.